you're gonna need this. Can you visit yesterday? What would you tell a younger you? Besides subscribing to this channel, we're going to explore five different options for how space-time may work if we change the direction of time. Science says it may be possible, including some of these physicists. How would it work? Depends on the nature of space-time and how the universe behaves. What's space-time? Right, let's start with a quick tutorial. Einstein figured out that time is not the same for everyone. So we needed a new way to think of the universe. Like a movie, you can look at any motion as a collection of frames, moments in time. Each snapshot represents all three dimensions of space for the entire universe. All of these frames combined together make up space-time. If you move from the back to the front of these snapshots, you're traveling forward in time from the Big Bang to today. Okay, now let's get a time machine. Hmm, that's the original, but no. Interesting, but a little cramped. Yeah, let's use that one. It's got style, but overused, I think. Water, no! Ah, yes, this is the one. And a volunteer. Go ahead, push the button. Are you sure? The universe may just forbid time machines. Stephen Hawking proposed the chronology protection conjecture, suggesting that the fundamental laws of the universe do not allow changes in the timeline. That's the history of all time. Ooh, boring. However, there are other possible options as to how space-time works. Maybe we could go back without changing the timeline. General relativity allows for a region of space-time warped by gravity to loop back on itself, called the predestination paradox. A structure that could provide this shortcut tunnel to the past is called a wormhole. Of course, this would only be helpful if we somehow had a map that showed all the holes in the space-time fabric. Like this? Yes! Where did you get that? The question is, when did I get that? A person who enters the wormhole would follow this path and go somewhere and some time, including the past, eventually finding themselves at the same time and place where they started. Ah! Another possibility, suggested by quantum mechanics, is that we can't go back in this space-time, but we can travel to an alternate space-time. In this scenario, the time machine splits the timeline in two. The time traveler disappears from the original one, and that timeline continues unaffected. The new timeline diverges from the original at the point chosen by the time traveler. You would be a new actor joining the play on stage. You might visit yourself, but you could never come back. If you use the time machine again, you would create a third timeline. The time traveler is experiencing a self-consistent history. Well, that is not helpful. There's also the many worlds interpretation. All possible quantum events can occur in mutually exclusive histories. What does that mean? It means that there are a bunch of other space-times. Lots of them. And you're already in many of them. But each one of you is a little different. So with the time machine, you could visit some of them. And how do I get back? Ah, that would be the hard part. It would be a matter of trying your luck with the odds. It may take a little time to get back home. If this is how reality works, then talking to your younger you is not meaningful because everything that can happen, does happen. Not satisfying. Well, there is one more option to consider. Yes? In this scenario, there is only one timeline. You can go back in time, and you can change it. All the slices of time exist and are interconnected in a long chain of cause and effect. You could visit a younger you. But, if you made any significant changes in the past, they would ripple through all the time slices to the present. You run the risk of really messing things up, even erasing yourself. What would you tell your younger self? Uh, don't sweat the small stuff? Buy Bitcoin? Be kinder? You know, guy, there are few decisions in this timeline that you can't undo. Maybe you don't really need a time machine. But I should have. They would understand. If, if only. Call them. They may surprise you. 
Science says it may be possible to travel to the past. We can't do it today, but physicists and engineers continue to discover and push the boundaries of what we can do. In the meantime, don't worry about the past or the future. Just live the moment, every moment, with all you've got. And what could be better than watching another cool science video right now? Click here.